hey, I'm going to show you how to set up a product search uh, on your website and ensure the results are only looking at the products without using any plugins or anything like that. Just what comes pre-built with Elemental because I've had the question asked a few times. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in search and we're going to pull over the search form. Now, you can add this to your footer, your header, wherever you want on your page. A lot of people tend to go with the standard classic or the minimal. One of the ones I quite like at the moment is the full screen approach. Now the magnifying glass is there and the bar has disappeared, but let's just make that a little clearer. If I go to style, go down to toggle and make the color of that be white, go back to content and make it be a left aligned. Can you see now it is visible there? I'm also going, well, I'll do something else to the color in a minute. Let me just hit update. Let me now go to preview. And if I now hit preview on here, can you see this like overlay appears? Now it does say search here, but we can't see it because it's the wrong type of color. Let's just go back over to our page, go to style, go to input, make sure the, well, we can change the overlay color as well if we want. I could pick a, uh, I could go for a really dark sort of like purpley color like that. And I would just make it a little bit transparent, a bit of transparency for the overlay effect, okay. And I'm also going to make the text color be white, right? So I'm now going to hit update. If we now go back over to our preview page and we click this button here, can you now see we get that little bit of transparency overlay and we get the white text. What I love about this is you don't have to hit the X to close. I can just click here and it goes out. So I do like how versatile it is. This is pre-built in Elemental. A lot of people don't realize this. It is there. But this is where I want to show you now the importance of doing a search result. Let me just pick the word. Let me just type in, uh, let me do it properly. Let me just type in ninja and hit return. Okay. Now look at the results here. That is really, really ugly. Okay. And there is always a danger. It's going to pull through products, posts, anything where the word ninja starts to appear. I've got a dummy WooCommerce products. This looks ultra, ultra plain ugly, right? So here's what we got to do. We got to create a search results template. Let's just go back again and put this back here. Go over to your templates and let's do add new. And I'm going to create one for search results. Make sure you pick it. And I'm just going to call it product search results like that. And we hit create template. Now I am going to show you one of the options you get. You could just start from scratch, but let me just show you what you would get if I was to go with the archives one here. Uh, by the way, you do have other little templates here that you could use, but I'm just going to go for this archive one and insert that. What you're going to get is a mixture of products, posts, anything. Some of them will have featured images, some won't, and it looks plain ugly, okay? I'm just going to get rid of the title here. I'm not actually going to be modifying the style of this. I just want to show you how it works. This is the archive post. So it's not ex exactly what I want because I want to pull through products, right? So let's just delete that completely. I'm now going to go over here and I'm going to type in products like that. And I'm going to bring through over the products widget here. Now, when you bring through the products widget, you're going to get everything. It won't just be the ninja ones, okay? You can see the ninja there. Ship your idea premium quality. This is the WooCommerce dumb, dummy products. Now you could over here start to mess around as well. Now I am just going to go here and just type in a uh, current query. So what that will now do is it should technically only bring through the ninjas when it's working. Let me just hit publish. Now when you do that, you're going to get asked what are the conditions you want to do. I'm going to add in two. The first one is include. I'm going to click it and I'm going to say search results. Give me the search results. That's the whole point we set this up, right? We have a search form, we have the search result. But I now also want to add in another condition. I'm going to say exclude, click here, and I'm going to say the post archive. I don't want the post archive. I just want the products, okay? If I don't exclude that, I will still get a mixture of them. Now, you could argue, though, that, well, you have got the post widget, sorry, the product widget, why would the post come through? Trust me, you can get in a bit of an anomaly coming through sometimes. Let's just hit save and close now. Okay. If we now go back over to our page here and I now click here and I, it's already got the word ninja and I hit return, we get the ninja products. Look, patient, flying, woo, ninja, ninja silhouette. 
um, ninja ninja ninja. So if I just go back a step over here, and I now type a uh, ship, because there was a ship your idea, wasn't there? There we go, ship your idea. So now you've got a pretty nice looking, I think in my opinion anyway, a little bit of a search filter. You can just have it as the bar if you want, that's fine, and still do the search results template. But remember, the, the settings for this, if we go back over here to display conditions, include search results, exclude post archive. And of course, then you save and close. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow, and I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.